this video means business. In this video I'm specifically going to talk about the 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro which was announced today at Apple's keynote event. I'm not going to go over every single keynote, what happened or what was released or what, you know, if you want to go watch something, watch John for Lakers or someone because why are you even watching this if you don't know what was in the city? Why? Why are you watching? That's a question. This video is going to be a rant uh, specifically for people in the UK. I'm not going to talk about other countries. I'm specifically going to talk about the United Kingdom and why you should not spend money on a 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro. Um, and again, you'll know why the countries are important in this case. So a 13 inch was announced. I sold my 15 inch Retina last month in September. Um, thinking that there was going to be a refresh last month due to all the rumours but it didn't happen. I was dying for a 13 inch retina and those of you following me on Twitter know that every single day I was tweeting about a 13 inch retina because it is my ideal machine. Come today though, it was a totally different story and you're going to be like, Zen, why is that? Why is that indeed? I'm going to tell you. 13 inch announced and um, you know towels were being used I will be honest. No, they weren't. Um, let's take a look, you know, spec by spec, what I don't like and what I kind of pass Apple on. Processor, okay, it's a dual core machine. But the other 13 inches are also dual core, so fair enough. Apple can have that one. Moving on, eight gigs of RAM. Okay, Apple can have that one as well, considering the 15 inch Retina also has a custom eight gig installed. You know, eight gig for a 13 inch Retina is pretty decent as well. Although you can only install up to 16 gig, according to a few websites, which is kind of a downer. The next one, let's move on swiftly. Storage, 128 gigabytes of flash storage on a friggin 1500 pound machine. Seriously, 1500 pound, 128 gigs of storage. Now don't mind that on a MacBook Air simply because of the price you're paying and Okay, it's given on that kind of or that caliber of machine, but on a pro machine, 128 is nowhere near to enough. Adding injury to insult, they go ahead and announce the Mac Minis and iMacs. And one of the great features I thought in that keynote, although it was nothing magical or revolutionary because this is happening at other manufacturers, was a hybrid solution where you've got flash and you've got a traditional hard drive mix into one, and you know, you can install the OS on the flash storage so that the OS loads up faster, the applications load up faster, and all your movies, <coughs> Pornhub, um, the stuff is all on your traditional hard drive and getting filled up with that kind of stuff, which was great. But the downside is that technology is not available yet on the 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro. Seriously. Did, did that just go down at the Apple keynote or what? Why the hell would you not introduce something like that on a £1,500 machine? And last but not least, and I know a lot of you had a similar kind of gripe about this, was the graphics card. It's integrated Intel HD 4000. While it's not a bad option, it's not particularly good either, especially when they've got the same chip in a MacBook Air system, which of course is, you know, much less in price. Um, it would have been great to see a discrete GPU like you have in the 15 inch retina especially again coming back on to these prices now me personally I could not as it stands get the baseline 13 inch retina model I just can't uh, the storage is simply not enough let's say if I were to get a 13 inch retina MacBook Pro the only thing that I could do is um, you know buy the high-end 13 inch retina some of you are saying Zen why don't you just get the base model and upgrade the flash storage well I could do other than Apple charged £250 just for doubling the storage to 256 which is insane. So, higher end 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro comes in at 1699 and storage again is here what I'm looking for and you've still got the, um, you know, the Intel HD 4000. So I'd be paying £1700, right? On the other hand, you could be getting for £120 more a 15 inch retina base model and with that you'd get a quad core machine get a discrete gpu get double the storage get a better audio system even although the 13 inch retina uh, tim kick said on stage it's got a really nice audio system uh, it's not as good from what i've seen at the keynote not as good as the 15 inch retina so you're getting better audio in a 15 inch system and last but not least 
a bigger screen. Point of the story is, the 13 inch is just not worth it here in the UK. Uh, I am disappointed uh, because again, I sold my Mac uh, last month uh, in anticipation for the 13 inch, which was going to be amazing. Sure, the retina on the screen is nice, but no way. Um, the specs on it are just way, way too low. I don't know what they were smoking when they were putting these specs together. And they must have just been laughing in, in, in themselves when making these specs up because they are just ridiculous. Um, but what do you guys think? Have you placed an order for a 13 inch? Although I'll be reviewing it on the channel, I'm not going to be keeping it personally for myself. I'm going to reorder a 15 inch, uh, which will be most probably tonight. A 15 inch for myself, I'll be using that, but I'll be reviewing the 13 inch in any case. But which model did you kind of get? Do you have any disappointments? Do you think it's good? Um, certainly, again, for a pro level machine, for a £1,500 machine, those specs are poor. But that is it really for this video. I hope it's useful, especially for those of you who are getting your first Mac. Listen, you're saving or you're spending £1,500 on a Retina MacBook. Might be your first Mac. If you're spending £1,500, you might as well just add another £100 and get a decent machine which is much more powerful. Sure, it's not going to be as portable as a 13 inch, but it's just going to be an extra pound according to the people who have had a hands-on with a 13 inch. Say it's roughly about a pound lighter. Um, it's not going to kill your back or you're not going to break your back or whatever. You're just getting a much more powerful system. Come next year, I know uh, they're going to have the fusion technology in the 13 inch retinas. The specs are going to be nice and glory and all that. Um, but as it stands right now, it's just not the machine for me and I wouldn't suggest any of you to go out and get it. Unless if you're staying in Hong Kong where the prices are really decent. Uh, from us, from, from me, someone in the UK looking at Hong Kong prices, it just looks absolutely stunning. Uh, but it might not be for people who are there. And of course the currency, exchange values, blah blah blah. You get the point. You can join me on twitter.com slash i6lastwaging, facebook.com slash i'm out. See you in another life. Cheers.